What is up YouTube? In this video we're going to talk about how to start a dropshipping store in 2020 and if you stay till the end of this video, I'm going to show you three potential winning products then you can literally go and test them after this video. So stay till the end of this video and I'm going to show you these three products that you can literally go and test and it could be your next winning product. Alright guys, we're on my laptop and I'm going to show you how easy it is actually to start a dropshipping store even in 2020. I know it's not easy yet to make it profitable but to get it started it's pretty quick and easy. Um, here first, the first question that I always get asked is how much does it cost to actually start a dropshipping store? And here we're going to go through exactly how much it's going to cost. I'm on my laptop so I'm going to explain how it's going to be and how it's going to work. So when you're starting your dropshipping store, Shopify.com gives you two weeks free trial. You can actually click the link down below and after that you're going to pay $29 a month plus 2.9% transaction fee I believe that's what it is and then for each transaction uh, that you're having so if someone comes to your site and buys something they charge you 2.9% transaction fee um, after that this is this is like the only cost that you're gonna have for building your website which is actually building it is not that difficult I'm gonna show you real quick how it will be like when you're starting it so it's super easy all you gotta do you gotta go to start free trial it's super super easy so you just put your email and password in there I just don't want to create a new one right now but you're gonna go ahead and create your store it's gonna ask you about your information what do you need so on the next page what's gonna do is gonna create your store I really I didn't want to do that but whatever <laughs> well, let's just do it so now it's gonna say that your store is getting ready success your store is ready to go super easy literally in two minutes you get to create your own Shopify store so you're gonna tell them about a little bit about yourself what you're doing and just playing around if you're already selling if you're not selling whatever you're doing you just gotta put it here let's say I'm, I sell a different system um, you could put whatever if you're using anything else and then how much you're planning to go with so let's say you're planning to do I heard if you put more in there you actually have a better chance of your your store getting ranked or whatever but don't quote me on that I don't know if it's true or not and then um, okay I'm not selling on anything else let's just not do this I'm just playing around so let's say oh it actually helps to create a logo but honestly for your logo you can go to canva.com and you don't have to worry about it um, let's not do this and then, so right here you just gotta go Put your address, put your everything, and then it, it creates your store. Then after that, honestly, creating your store, I have another video on how to build the actual store. So go find that out on somewhere on my channel. So I'm not going to cover this. This video is specifically about how to get your business off the ground and then start. Another cost that you're going to have is Facebook ads. And um, I know I always say you need about 500, 1,000 to be safe to 2,000. But honestly, you don't need all of that at once because people get scared when I tell them you need 2,000 to start. But you don't need that at once. You can get it started now, right now with testing two products that it's going to cost you a couple hundred dollars, maybe 200, maybe hundred dollars. You'll, you'll find that quick. If you are having a system and following a strategy, you don't need to spend all that money at once. So it's, it's, it, you could be spending that money in maybe period of two, three months. So it's not going to be that quick. Uh, but if you're honestly planning to find a winning product quicker, faster then yeah, you might have, you might want a bigger budget, but you don't have to start and spend that money so quickly. Another cost that you're going to have is, this is not necessarily a cost, but I always suggest that people have a backup credit card or something in case of any holds. I'm pretty sure if you're in business, you know that PayPal holds your money. Sometimes, if you're lucky, they won't hold your money. Uh, Stripe might put hold on your money. I don't know, like Shopify might do it. Just in case have a backup credit card in case these things happen you have money to pay for your uh, products and for your uh, ad expenses and all those things that comes with it so now what do you need first what do you need to get started with start with building your shopify store and don't spend more than two three days on it i know a lot of people spend get really fussy about it and like try to spend a week two weeks on it but don't be like that try to get it off the ground real quick once you get started like designing it you figure out that it's super easy pretty much a 10 year old can come up with a fully functional business dropshipping business like store 
um, in a couple days. So don't spend too much time about it. Don't overthink it. Just get it started and then move on to the most important things like finding your winning products, you're making your creatives and Facebook ads. After that, now you want to do, you want to find potential winning products. Now we talked about a little bit about Shopify store. Now we want to go and find potential winning products. The reason I say that potential winning products, I don't like to name them winning, winning products because one product can be a winning product for me and it could not be a winning product for you. Every ad account is different. Every product is different. And honestly, every product just reacts differently in different ad accounts. So that's why I say potential winning product. After that, you want to focus on learning how you want to go about Facebook ads. You know, I love running Facebook ads and I teach specifically Facebook ads. I scale products to a crazy amount through Facebook ads and I know that it's very scalable. So that's why I always recommend people really, really learn about Facebook ads. I know a lot of people do also Google ads, Pinterest ads, but Facebook ads are very scalable and they very, like, they're very beneficial for you even if you don't sell end up selling a product it's good for you to know you can always run facebook ads for other businesses and make money so always learn that facebook ads and then go from there now you might be asking how do i find winning products there are many ways that you can go about it after a while that if you're in a game it's so much it gets easier and easier to be familiarized familiarized with what a winning product is and how it works so my methods if you're just getting started and you're just getting into like oh let me check it out let me test it out is go on and go and spy on other stores there are many ways you can spy on other stores i have another video how to spy on other stores so go ahead and find it maybe i will drop it down below but if you actually there are ways there are tools that you can use to spy on other stores and see what products they're testing not scaling but testing so you would want to do that and go find out what they're testing and go ahead and make it a really good creative creative for that product and test that product another way to do it is just simply go on aliexpress so one way that i like to do it is i like to go and see what other winning products are i type the name and try to find similar products to that product and I, I make sure that it's not saturated. I make sure that it, like a lot, not a lot of people scale it. That means they don't have crazy amount of orders. That's another way that I like to go about potential winning products. Another way that you could do is Amazon.com. You simply can go just by I think they have trending now or something like that, and then see what they have. They're not necessarily dropshipping products, but you could find similar products on AliExpress and go and give it a try. Another way, last one. I'm not a fan of product research tools, but I'm a fan of finding the stores through them. So it's easy to go to um, product research tools and then try to find a dropshipping stores. So I don't necessarily go find the product in there, but I go and find the pro dropshipping stores and I make a list of them. And then when I have the list, I go and spy on them, see what they're testing, what they're doing on the back end of it. Now, I want to show you a store that has been killing it really good. I'm gonna, I want to show you how simple it is to actually start a dropshipping store and make the Shopify store real quick. So let me show you. Here we are. This is a very famous dropshipping store, bluecrate.com. They've been killing it in the game for a while. I just typed in and the first thing you see, they offer you 10% of your first order. And I mean, look at this logo. I, I don't know what to say. This is like actually very, very simple. Like it's not anything crazy. Honestly, I would try to make a better logo, but I'm not uh, for this. But for the sake of this video, I'm gonna show you how a simple store like bluecrate.com is killing it. If you go to similar web up here, similar web basically kind of shows you how many visitors that store is getting. If it's a Shopify store, actually I think it's any store, any page, it shows you what their average uh, monthly visits are. So if you go here, they have about 100,000 monthly visitors. So they're, they're doing pretty good. So they've been killing it. As, as you can see, most of the traffic are coming from, um, you know, tier one countries. That's one way to say if they have legit like visitors. Um, they come from US, UK, and Canada. And if you go here, you see all their, like the, the main page is just pretty simple. They're not doing anything crazy, but one thing they do really, really well, they make really, really good videos. So if you get time, go find it out, like go find their videos and stuff. And then you see how simple the videos are. And let's, even their product page is not nothing crazy. I don't like short product pages, 
but go ahead and check it out. This is like an example of a dropshipping store, all their products are dropshipping. They have really good quality photos. So like you see, it has a lot of emotions in their photos. So look at here. I actually don't know how this one works, but anyhow, they have a lot of emotions in their photos. Oh, this is pretty cool. I kind of want to make this for my dog. So one key is to always make, to always use good quality photos. So that's that. And last thing that I want to talk about is why am I not finding a winning product? Most likely, either you're not testing enough or you're testing saturated products and you're using really bad creatives for it. Don't steal other people's video, make your own video, focus on learning how to make the videos and focus on um, taking the time to learn about product research and how to find good products. Hope this was helpful. I know I promised you guys about the three products that I think they're gonna be winning products. So I'm gonna hop on my laptop again and I'll show you what those products are and how you can go about scaling them, testing them and everything. So let's hop on my laptop. Okay, so this, the first product that I found, a can opener that I found and I thought it's pretty cool. They don't have crazy amount of orders. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you. There we go. pretty cool product it's about 1480 I think it's a little pricey but you probably this is just the first page that I clicked on if you work with a supplier directly you could get it for cheaper I would say maybe ten dollars usually Aliexpress is about four or five dollars more expensive than if you were about to work with a direct supplier and you could probably sell this for $29.95 and how I would go about making the creative is maybe someone that is struggling with opening the, uh, the bottle of beer and um, you could target people that like drinking if there's a beer option I haven't looked to see if there's a drinking option but you could maybe party people you can target party people maybe college students and this is like a pretty cool product and I think you could kind of make the creative the first 30 seconds you can make something that people are struggling with opening a bottle and then have a solution as this product is a solution and they can open it and kind of have an example of you know not example like show people maybe partying and then trying to open a can so I'm gonna scroll down and I'll, I'll see if they have good photos too. Yeah, they have like really good photos in there too. And then it's kind of cool. It, it keeps all the, um, what is it called? The, it is pretty cool. So we're gonna scroll down. And yeah, so this is the first product that I think it's worth the try. It's pretty cool. You could actually stick it on your um, refrigerator and then like you could kind of literally grab a beer and then open it. I think it's such a college thing. Like you could literally, um try to target college students and stuff so another product that i kind of caught my eyes was this cat hammock and i think it was pretty unique and cool and as you guys know i have three criteria for when i'm trying to find products is if it has to be two it has to be unique so that first product to me was pretty unique and this one is also unique and either it has to be passionate or it has to be solving a problem so the first product that i showed you is solving a problem this is a and this one is a very passionate uh, product. The reason is people are very passionate about their, their cats. I literally sent this to my friend and I was like, hey, do you want a hammock? And she, she has a cat and she's like, oh my God, yes, how can I get this? And then this is how people feel about their cats. So this is pretty cool. You could get a hammock and you know, you could kind of have maybe an ad of a cat that is bored and then um, they have a but then they have a hammock and then jump on it. They're happier on all those things again You could probably sell this for $39.95 and this is a little bit pricier for this I would aim for I would try to find a supplier that, that obviously gives you discounts and stuff But uh, this is probably you can sell it for $39.95 the third product is this dual lens uh, wireless inspection camera as, as you guys know, I actually scaled a product very similar to this and that's how I found this product. The difference is this product has two cameras. There's one on the side and there's on the front. And, and then uh, the cool thing about it is that you could uh, have, you could choose the size of the cable and definitely um, you, could, you could sell it for a pretty good amount. And this is for iPhone, Android phones and everything. And if you scroll down, one thing I like about it, like this is one 
point of selling is that it's not soft wire, soft wire, it's hard wire. So you could literally, mechanics easily can use it, people, electricians, they can easily use it. And then, as you can see, it has dual lenses. And then you, there's one on the side and there's one uh, on the front. So it's pretty cool. And if you scroll down, you see like all types of people that are using this product. And um, yeah, I think it could be a pretty good product to sell. I actually kind of, I'm tempted to send this to my um, product video editor and then test this out. So yeah, this is, this is it for now. All right, this is it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of videos. If you do, don't forget to subscribe and drop a like down below and I'm gonna answer all the questions that you have within an hour of this video that being posted. So drop all your questions down below in the comments and I'm gonna answer all the questions that you might have and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.